In this video, we'll look at a couple of examples to practice calculating the variance of normally distributed data. Example A, a company wants to test its exterior house paint to determine how long it will retain its original color before fading. The company mixes two brands of paint by adding different chemicals to each brand. Six one gallon cans are made for each paint brand and the results are recorded for every gallon of each brand of paint. The following are the results obtained in the laboratory, and we can see this table below. Calculate the variance of the two brands of paint. These are both small populations. So the fact that it says that these are populations means that we can use the population formula for variance. We can assume we have all of the different data for the whole population. So what we're trying to do is calculate the variance for both brands. Now remember to calculate the variance, you need to know three things. You need to know the values for X, which are all of your data points, which we do. The values for X are 15, 65, 55, and so on for brand A and then for brand B. We also need to know mu, which is the mean for all of our values. So we'll need to calculate that. And we need to know N, which is the number of data points we have. In each case, N equals six. All right, so let's calculate the mean first. And to do that, remember you have to add up all six values and divide by six because there are six values. So to do that, first add up 15 plus 65 all the way to 25 and you get 240. And then we divide that by six because we have six values and we get our average, our mean, mu, is 40 for brand A. Now what about for brand B? We do the same thing, add up all six values and then divide by six. For brand B, the sum is again 240, which means that again, when we divide by six, we get our mean is just 40. Now to figure out the variance, it helps to set up a table because we do need to do a few different calculations. In our table, the first thing that we should have is our values for X. So that will just be these numbers right here. Then we'll want to have the difference between X and the mean, mu in each case. And then after we've calculated that, we'll want to square that value. So we're going to make a table for brand A and another table for brand B. So first let's just recopy in our X values. All right, so we have all of the X values copied and we have brand A is the table on the left and brand B is the table on the right. The next thing we want to do is take each of the X values and subtract 40 from them because 40 was the mean. And we're trying to figure out the variance, which is sort of trying to tell us how far away are these values from the mean to figure out how spread out is our data. So take 15 minus 40 and we get negative 25. 65 minus 40 and we get 25, 55 minus 40 and we get 15, 35 minus 40 is negative 5, 45 minus 40 is 40, oops, 5, and 25 minus 40 is negative 15. Now I'll do the same thing for brand B. Take each of the X values and subtract 40 because that was also the mean for brand B. Now to fill in the last column in each table, we're going to take the difference between our X values and the mean and square them. So negative 25 squared, 25 squared, and so on. Okay, now that we have all the squared values in there, we can continue with our formula. Remember that the formula for variance for a population is the sum of all of the differences between our X values and our mean squared, and we already have all of these values in our table, so we just have to add them up next, and then divide by N, which will be six in this case. So the next thing we have to do is find the sum 
of the last column in each table. And then once we figure that out, we just have to divide by 6. So first we're going to add up 625, 625, 225, and so on. And then do the same thing for the brand B table. Okay, so we have our sum. And now in each case, we're going to divide the sum by 6 in order to get our variance. So the variance for brand A will be 1750 divided by 6 which is 291.67 and the variance for brand B is 250 divided by 6 which is 41.67. So there we have it. We've calculated the variance for both of our brands. This is the variance for brand A and this is the variance for brand B. Notice that the variance for brand A is much larger than the variance for brand B. And if we look at our actual data values, so that's these purple numbers right here, we should notice that that makes sense because for brand A, the numbers are much more all over the place than for brand B, which where they're a lot closer on average to the mean. We can also see this from the second column where the differences for brand B are all pretty small because all of these numbers were pretty close to 40, whereas for brand A, they were bigger because the numbers were more spread out. So that's the idea of variance. It tells us how varied our data is. And because brand A had more varied data, it had a larger variance.